Howdy folks, Dreadshells here, and welcome back to World of Tanks. Um, it's been quite a while since I made a video. I think it's been about, um, probably around a month, month and a half. Um, just the holiday was crazy busy, and um, I don't have a really good excuse uh, besides that. Um, uh, and I have quite a few a uh, few uh, replays building up here, so I need to uh, I need to get working on them and uh, show these games to you guys. A lot of them are a lot of fun to watch. Um, today uh, I get to show you guys a a tank that I'm actually on the fence about. Believe it or not, this is the the LT four three two. This is the um, the, the tier eight Russian uh, premium scout tank. And uh, this was for sale over the uh, the Christmas Advent calendar, and I was able to buy this with uh, with some gold that I got from loot boxes, which were generously um, purchased for me by uh, Mr. Blitz Canuck. So shout out to him and thanking him once again for for buying those for me. That was extremely generous. And uh, I was able to uh, purchase several toys over the holidays with uh, with uh, the resources that I got from those, so that's that's um, that's very much appreciated. Um, uh, I'll explain kind of why I'm on the fence as I start the game here. Um, but uh, going into the battle itself here, um, it was a pretty fun game. I was able to have a high impact on it. Uh, we're on Minsk. Um, honestly, not a map that I am a very big fan of, mainly because of how the terrain works. Um, so you have the nine zero lines over here where the city is if you look over here and you have the one two lines and in between you have this giant empty zone um, which is kind of unplayable because the terrain slopes all into the middle right so this gives all the advantages to to snipers who sit on the edges of the map and so you can't really play proactively here in the middle at all you just have to like sit on the back side of the road Oh, excuse me, on the back side of the road here and uh, and wait for tanks to push into the one line or the zero line. So, but uh, but yeah, let's uh, start the game here before I ramble too much longer. Double check my volume here just to make sure it's okay uh, as I haven't made a, uh, haven't made a video in a while. So uh, we're in an all tier eight game. Um, there's about an even uh, composition of mobility, um, heavies, mediums, tank destroyers. I would say the, the compositions on both teams are fairly fast. Um, that heavies are fairly quick, uh, the tank destroyers, mostly the scouts, the mediums. So there's a lot of speed on both teams. And so right now, I'm not doing anything special. I'm just posting up in this reactive positioning. I'm not even... Uh, you notice that I'm uh, not even bothering to try and scout over the top of the uh, or the top of the middle road there um, just because there's there's usually nobody who can shoot uh, what you spot over like if you spot some tanks in c4 and c5 right uh, maybe it's good for intelligence but usually your team can't shoot them so and you have to risk quite a bit to try and spot it right so there's usually at least three or four different tanks that can shoot you the CBR is making another cheeky run here, and I'm seeing if I can uh, get a shot on him. And right now, I'm just using this crane uh, uh, right next to me here to keep me safe from return fire by that E75 right there. And I'm waiting for this uh, HWK to poke, um, but uh, my teammates um, uh, kind of have him pushed, uh, discouraged him from uh, going any further up that, that little draw underneath the bridge there. That little archway so now i'm using this opportunity now that the hwk has left uh you can see him running away there on the minimap to get some distance here and amazingly somehow uh, i spot the scorpion here without getting spotted myself uh, i take a shot there and i am really surprised that i don't get spotted there but uh, that was a, a very very important kill early on in this game um that wz120 over there is pushing um, my teammate's really hard in the city, so I need to uh, take the risk that I'm going to be getting shot at, maybe by Artie, by being a little stationary here, just to help my team out there and help uh, help some do some damage as the enemy is pushing into the city. Uh, a lot of the time um, in, in a scout, you have to be willing to adapt here. 
kind of struggling to find the outline there. Uh, there's a lot of uh, destructible rubble uh, there. There's some archways and stuff there, so that you can shoot through. You just gotta, you just gotta feather the silhouette of the tank. Uh, and now we got the T32 Permatract. And it looks like he doesn't have a repair kit anymore, so we're just going to keep pumping shots into him here. But uh, but yeah, as far as I was saying about scouts, you really have to be willing to um, not get into the mindset of doing one particular thing throughout the battle. you got to be willing to, to do different things and not just, oh, I'm a scout, I'll spot, or... Um, passive or actively right you got to be willing to do whatever the situation dictates in the battle here and especially on a map where vision isn't really important at least not early game um, um, unfortunately I get spotted there and if you guys were wondering how that Pershing didn't spot me until that point it's because he was stock right um, I could tell by the number of hit points and the turret that he was using so he didn't have his very good uh, view range so you had to get a lot closer to me before he spotted me right would like to kill that one-shot E75 right there, TS. Um, that is also another one of the um, him and his platoon mate over there. That tank is also one of another one of the tanks that uh, uh, was for sale over the Christmas uh, Christmas period, holiday period. Uh, I say for sale in quotation marks. It was uh, potentially a tank that you could get from the loot boxes. So um, I did get that, but I actually have not played that tank yet. Uh, I've played the double barrel. The uh, object 703. Um, not a heavy tank player, so I am kind of on the fence about how I'm feeling about it so far. But maybe I'll play play him more in the future. So right now we haven't done anything special. We've just um, we've just uh, controlled the the middle the middle area, and we've just been putting flanking fire into the enemies as they've been pushing into the city. Um, Sometimes you 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 don't need to overthink it, right? Sometimes people try to force the issue, right, and, and try to do too much. Um, you don't have to you don't have to push all the time, right? You don't have to force the tempo of a game. Sometimes it's okay just to to react to what's going on. This guy's AFK. I do know that the E seventy five there is capping. Uh, quite surprised actually that I got spotted there. Um, initially, uh, because I saw that the IS-3 was pretty far away from me and that he was also stock, as he had uh, 1,450 HP. And then you saw that I glanced over to my right and I, you see that there's a little gap there. Um, there's a little gap right there in the buildings here in the city um, uh, where that second E-75 TS uh, was looking through. And he was about 380 meters or so away, so he spotted me when I fired there. Now I'm moving in here. I have the hit points here. I'm willing to lose them to uh, to uh, to take his gun out of the fight, and he does shoot me. But uh, Russia armor, even scouts have armor. Yes, uh, that's where this tank is really good. This tank actually has um, really good survivability for a scout. Um, so I see that he's pushing straight into me. So I'm just going to work around him here. No sense, no intent bullying him here. Um, he did wait for the shot, so unfortunately that was a misplay on my part. I should have looked in third person to see if he had stopped in the gap there. I thought he would have continued to keep driving. So right now I'm just kind of waiting to see if he's going to engage the ELC EVEN 90 and play Ring Around the Rosie. So he's reversing, trying to get another shot. So the EVEN 90 uh, went in for a shot there, and so I thought he would be looking, and he was, but uh, he turned and, and shot me there. And uh, the more astute of you will realize right now that I am on one hit point. Um, yeah, one hit point in a dream is, is all you need. <laughs> uh, I got really, really, really lucky there. And, uh, and uh, uh, with the help of the ELC even 90 there, we were able to take out the uh, second E75. So I, I'd be really careful going over these stairs here because I'm, really uh, I'm really worried about killing myself by... Uh, by dropping over terrain too hard here. Uh, SC does a great job taking out the one-shot HWK there, and uh, I had HE loaded uh, there initially because I wasn't sure uh, what hit points the HWK was on. And the HWK takes a lot of damage from HE. Um, uh, if you can just avoid the tracks, you can usually pen the HWK no, uh, 12 no problem with high explosive ammo. But yeah, uh, as far as uh, my opinions about this tank, um, I'm kind of on the fence about it, believe it or not. The gun is pretty derpy um, if you don't have a really good crew in it. 
I got a little post sticking out of my butt there. That is not a replay bug. That's that's the graphics hit thing working with destructible destructible objects here. Um, we're gonna work here and help killing the uh, the EBR there. Uh, was not really expecting my my shell to hit necessarily with full and and pen with he. Uh, but I thought even if I didn't pen him with HE that I would have uh, blown out his tires and slowed him down and make it easier for my team to kill him there. So yeah, uh, we were able to survive the battle here with uh, with one hit point. And uh, if you got it one hit point, you're still alive and uh, you can still shoot stuff and you can still spot stuff. So um, I think this is the one of the few battles that I've played on Minsk where uh, I've actually enjoyed it um most of the time at least in a scout um most of the time uh, it's very frustrating to play this map in a scout just because you're not really in a spotting role and your damage role is very limited uh in how you can support your team so you're you're very much a victim of circumstance when you're on this map in a light tank you you basically um are, are you have to you have to wait and see what your teammates do or what the enemy team does right you can't you can't do anything proactively yourself so um but back to my opinions on this tank um the lt432 is a good tank and in, in fact i would uh, recommend it to new scout players um it's very forgiving for the most part um because it has pretty good armor um you'll it has pretty and because of that it has pretty good survivability for a scout tank um, I, the one thing, there's two things in particular that I am not a huge fan of in this, in this tank. Uh, one is the gun handling, believe it or not. Um, it's, uh, and I think it has more down to the, the aim time in this tank. So whenever the, the dispersion, you start to move whenever and everything like that. And if you're shooting at anything over like 300 meters or so, your gun is pretty inaccurate. So I usually, um, Play this tank with food as i do with most of my scouts but you really need it with this tank to help with the with the aim type and the gun handling and uh and the other thing uh that's a consequence of that is that this tank uh gets set on fire a lot um uh, its fuel tanks get damaged very easily it, i'm not sure i don't have a, a hit model in, in front of me here but i think the the fuel tanks are in the front so this, uh, so this tank gets set on fire a lot. Um, I'd have to double check that. I might be wrong on that uh, on the fuel tank location. But uh, regardless, um, this this is a Russian match matchstick basically. So uh, it's really important that people think, oh, I have armor. You know, I can block shots. Uh, my tracks can eat shots. Yes, it's true. Um, but you really don't want to. You don't really want to test it you know yeah um because you'll get set on fire a lot when people when people uh uh pen you so it's best just to not get shot in the first place even though you have pretty good armor for a scout so um might do a full review on this tank in the future we'll see um but yeah so i'll wrap up this video here um i hope you guys uh enjoyed watching this game on minsk in the lt432 uh two um, new things on the channel that I don't think I've done before. Uh, a new scout tank and on a map that I don't think I've featured before, but uh, um, hopefully this guys will, um, this video rather will give you guys some uh, ideas on how to play on this map. Usually you have to play pretty reactively in, in a scout. So uh, wish you guys the best of luck out there. Happy hunting and take care.